back and in this video I'm going to give you some information on relative sizing for story estimations in Agile. So let's get into it. So relative sizing, this is a technique where the value estimate of a story is not estimated independently, note the point independently, but is based on the comparison of other stories that act as a reference point. For example, if I was to ask you how big is a dove, how would you tell me how big is a dove? To explain to a person how big is an object or rather how big is this dove, you can give a value but the other person would not be able to understand or capture what is the exact size of that particular bird. Okay, so relative sizing so this is an example of independently calculating a value but if you look at another scenario where you have a list of birds and now if you want to tell how big is a dove you would say that a dove is bigger than a chick and is smaller than a chicken so this is what the second sentence of relating sizing explains it's based on comparison of other stories that act as a reference point so you're comparing the existing story or the object or here in our case the bird with other birds and you're trying to give a value for the bird in hand which is when you said it's taller than a chick and shorter than a chicken so this is not the entire um, essence of relative sizing so the same approach is used in agile user story estimation so i can give you another example also this is all the buildings the famous buildings in the world and here this image was taken from wikipedia and if someone wants to know what is the height of a building of course you can tell it in meters but when you give a comparison it's more easier to understand okay it's a very fast and efficient way also where you'll be able to communicate the value to people and it's very much easily understandable so if someone asks you how tall is the Eiffel Tower you can say it's because this is something that everyone knows here you can say that it's taller than the Great Pyramid and it's shorter than the Empire State Building so this is how you use other objects or entities you compare it with the entity or object that you want to define and then after comparison you're able to define a value for the existing entity in and so this is relative sizing so as i said this is the same thing is continued and is used in agile user story estimations so now when user stories you have a list of user stories as business analysts we have a list of user stories and it's usually the development team that need to estimate you mostly needn't do the estimation okay it's the development team that needs to give you estimates for user stories so all of us coming in from the traditional background of you know um develop of um, a software development generally we tend to estimate in time using the time as a factor but in relative sizing here when you estimate user stories time is not a factor that is used there are some teams and some groups that use time for estimation but mostly with user story estimation using the relative sizing hours time that is not taken into consideration but there are other factors that the development team they use in order to estimate a story and those factors are the first one is effort the amount of effort required to complete the task the second one is complexity the amount of difficulty that exists in completing that task and completeness the amount of information provided to complete the task okay so these are the three factors that developers look for in order to estimate a user story so the very first um, one that they look for is they see whether the information you provide about your user story is complete and they have all the information required to build that user story okay if there are any missing acceptance criteria or validations or any screens etc then if or if they are not very clear with the concept itself then they would not be able to estimate 
okay the user story because they don't know how big it's going to be what type of complexities it's going to have how many people will have to work on it they or rather what would be the integrations that exist with that user story is it dependent on any other user story in or they that's how they think they think in a very logical way so unless they have all the information that answer their questions and doubts only then they would be able to provide estimates so let's say that the user story is complete the next one that they would look for is the effort and complexity now you have to you know um, always make note of that there are the effort and complexity is very much different do not confuse them as the same effort is different from complexity and that's where i'm sure i will show you how they are different okay with a very simple example that's how we do it so far so here is a simple illustration of effort and complexity so effort there can be less effort and more effort there can be less complexity and more complexity so let's say the user story is just simple you have to just draw two shapes so the effort is less and complexity is also less but if i'm going to give a intricate design like this with curves then the effort is less but complexity is little more coming on to more effort and less complexity you have a simple a design of a house over here so of course you need more people to work there'll be more effort but it's not very much complex whereas when you look at these different architectural buildings it's more effort and definitely more complexity also so that is how you differentiate between effort and complexity okay so to give you another example in technical terms let's say i'm giving a task of filling a excel sheet of one row okay note it one row with let's say five columns the effort is less complexity is also less but suppose i say the same excel sheet fill it up with 10000 rows of data it's going to be simple okay that task is going to be with less um complexity because it's just data entry but the effort is going to be more because it's 10000 rows so always you need to differentiate between effort and complexity and don't get confused between the two okay so this is the factors that developers use to estimate the user stories and to estimate user stories there are various techniques okay you would have heard t-shirt sizing planning poker dot voting these are nothing but estimation the user story estimation techniques now these are the very common ones but there are many other estimation techniques and i would be you know explaining about these um estimation techniques in another video but this is it for relative sizing i hope you got an in, uh, information about what is relative sizing and why we use that relative sizing and what are the factors that are you know based on which relative sizing and is done and how um developers what factors they use in order to estimate a user story so i hope this was useful to you if you like this video please do give this a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please please do subscribe to this channel and also do share your feedbacks thank you